2007 was sort of an awakening for me that I'm gonna keep coded, but it happened to coincide with my discovery of J-Rock beyond anime openings and the endings. We have like Do As Infinity, or Learc and Cell with my favorite singer still, Hyde. There was Final Fantasy music like Gact, which led me to Malice, Miser, and the vampire movie Gact and Hyde did together that's just too hot for words. But a lot of the music was single songs and such, and I'm someone who likes full albums in the same way I like movies and books. The album is the completed form of the artwork. J-Rock just didn't have that for me yet, until a band stumbled my way from the early YouTube algorithm. And if you're my age, you knew about them too. Obscure, a song by Japanese metal band, Dear and Grey. A band I used to pronounce Dur and Grey. God, I'm so Americanly uncultured. Beyond the atmospheric metal sound of Obscure, it was a video that caught everyone who watched by surprise and left a lasting impression to this very day with wrestlers like Abaddon. I discovered this around the same time I discovered Takashi Miike, and the video was very Miike-ish. The surrealness of the tone, the overabundance of gore and creepy images flashing before you, and of course, the band dressed themselves in what I eventually learned was a darker horror variation of the visual kai movement in Japanese music. Kyo, looking especially psychopathic, I was hooked. I looked up more and found Saku, a song done in almost the same style but far more rapid and manic. Kyo, dressed insane, Shinya being gorgeous, and a song referencing suicide and other dark matters. And by then, I was just hook, line, singer, all in. I needed Deer and Grey in my veins. And I found plenty online. However, what cemented my love for them was their album, Mirror of the Bone, that I found at a Best Buy of all places. And the full album was amazing. Every single song. This was what I was waiting for. A full album from a J-Rock band that was more than the spectacle singles pretty man and amazing visuals the album was the complete art form j-rock hooked me then and it never left gear and gray started in the late 90s as the typical visual kai band with the visual glam rock anime look and they all looked beautiful but the music was very typical j-rock <laughs> Since then, they would evolve their sound into more aggressive metal until present day, where their sound leans toward experimental progressive insanity and a complete lack of onstage makeup and attire, which is natural to be their authentic selves, but I will never forget the full-on theatric display of this band. You have lead guitarist and the band leader Kaioru, inspired by the late Hide Matsumoto of X Japan. You have rhythm guitarist DA, or just die. I actually don't know, because I'm such an uncultured swine. Heavy bassist to Shia and the drummer Shinya who admittedly was someone I always found to be super beautiful and I'm incredibly biased because of it because you know he's one of my favorite drummers to listen to and watch and like 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 look at him <laughs> I love his symbol work in particular, but like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just biased. Deer and Grey has always been a very, very solid band, with no one standing out beyond the other. They are a complete band in their sound, but it was their vocalist that made them not only stand out, but made them what they are. The man who brings such a duality of darkness with the beauty of life, Kyo. A man who starts singing like every other visual Kai band out there, like... When he started experimenting with screaming and growling, that's when he reached a whole new level. The range of this man is Mike Patton in nature. He can do death growls at the very bottom of the register of the abyss and hit incredible high notes all in a single song, often layered upon each other in later works. All in all, it sounds like death itself. So metal. Beyond the technical precision of his vocals, what makes him special is how manic and insane he can sound. But also, how much emotion and passion he puts into it. He's torn his vocal cords many times by how hard he goes. But also, his chorus lines are so addicting. It's why Obscure hit so hard when it did. Mirror of the Bone starts with a dark, somber song called Conceived Sorrow, a song that builds and builds with lightly sung vocals from Kyo until the chorus hits. It's one of my 
favorite opening song still. The second post chorus, especially when Kyo really just digs into his emotion. And then live when he does it, he changes it up by screaming more and more passionately like I love it when bands pour their heart out. I always prefer this to technically precise bands. To me, it's the whole point of an artist to let out their emotions, their trauma, their sadness, tears, and anger, everything into the art form. You have a song like Agitated Screams of the Maggot, where Kyo goes like, and songs like Ryojoku no Ame that has a beautiful chorus in it. Sable complexes with this unique opening rip here that's jazzy in nature. The Pledge, that is very new metal sounding but has such an emotional chorus line with Kyo going into higher registers of his voice. Repetition of the Hatred is a very corn, mudvane sounding song, but Kyo is far more talented than the angst of Jonathan Davis, in my opinion, and takes the chorus to a whole new level. <laughs> Several years after Marrow of the Bone, the band would come out with my favorite album of theirs, Your Boros, taking their previous sound even further with the vocal talent of Kyo, but the band as well, experimenting into a darker, atmospheric album with longer songs. It's such a mood, but also produced some of their more commercial, cleaner work, like Glass Skin, that contains some of the most beautiful vocal work of Kyo's career, sung alongside a really pretty guitar line, keeping itself heavy with Toshia's bass and the wonderful cymbal work of Shinya. There's also the seven minute companion piece, Rare Yame Tome, I Am Darkness. With heavenly background music to another very pretty vocal track from Kyo with a tear inducing chorus that builds and builds to higher registers. You also got the single. Dozing Green, a solid atmospheric melodic track with another addicting powerful chorus. And it all plays in an aggressive yet emotional timbre into the final portion where Kyo gives one of the most death defined wails ever. Gaika Chimoku Ga Nemuru Koro. Gaika Chimoku Ga Nemuru Koros, the Kyo's vocals match the tone of the bass until he goes. Plus the addicting chorus lines. Bugaboo, a dark ass bassy track where Kyo dives into the chorus with deep growls and wails, but the chorus is the dual vocal line of Kyo's deep demonic growls with his intense high vocals and wails. seems to be Deer and Gray's theme. Both represented musically, vocally, and seemingly in the lyrics where they have double means to their interpretation or so I heard. They will continue to have a solid career, progressing further vocally and progressively in their music and four more full-length LPs after. But the peak will always be you were for for me. Their later work is solid, however. Deer and Gray has such a solid, consistent, and ever-evolving discography from weathering to death to marrow of the bone to your robos, you have a phenomenal set of albums. 
They're a special band to me, marked by a period of 2007 that remains a pivotal chapter in my life. Kyo is one of my favorite vocalists of all time, and he has seemingly inspired the new wave of J-metal bands like Devil Oof, where the main vocalist takes what Kyo does and drives it even further into demonic territory. But Gear and Grey dominated it first, and was always this awesome band that I still love. Everything about them just fuels my spirit with both the darkness and the beauty that is life. Duality. Shout out to all my Patreon sponsors. We have GF, the Uptown Kicking Noise Dad, TH, Renee Valdez, Asia Trace, Manage, Justin Sign, Matthew Balashuska, Neo Chef, Fu, Terrence, Dan, Will, Kev, Mullen, Adam, K, Wee, Konishige, Buddy Money 520, Jugna Graphics, Shout out to that Wave, Aaron, Sicarius, 45222. I want victims. JLA, Julia, Sunglasses, Chihuahua, Paul, Darren, Pickle Simon, Scott, Richard, Stephen Simmons, Cover ID, Smoon, Little Choop Choop, Tony Davis, Jesse the Outlaw, Dodds, Morningstar, and Dunkle Snake. Thank you.